Absolutely. Multidisciplinary care is, of course, very important in patients with hypophosphatasia. Us as geneticists are kind of the focal point for disease state uh, care of patients with rare diseases, but we can't do this alone. We need help from a lot of other clinicians, and, and HPP is a great example of that. A lot of these patients are going to have respiratory problems. Will they have to be managed by a pulmonologist. Uh, a lot of these patients will have, some of them may have hearing loss, some of them may have vision problems. Ophthalmology, audiology would be important for, for, for those patients. They will ultimately be cared by a general pediatrician or family practice physician, and it's important for us to, uh, to work well with the, those clinicians. And orthopedic uh, specialists are gonna be needed if a patient may have a need for orthopedic interventions. And it cannot be stressed enough the need for patients to have rehabilitation. They need to be evaluated, they need to be treated by physical therapists and occupational therapists. And then neurologists and neurosurgeons are going to be important for patients either with vitamin B6 responsive seizures and or patients with craniosynostosis. synestosis. All of these together are going to be important in the care of the patient. And there's also going to be, be providers that we're maybe not anticipating. You know, again, uh, these patients with hypophosphatasia, some patients may have uh, atypical manifestations of, of disease or may have disease that's unrelated to their hypophosphatasia. And so it's important to have that framework for multidisciplinary care so if other specialists need to be brought in, we're able to do so.